Hey, this is Michael with X-Force PC. It is April 2nd, 2019, and there's a new update to Windows coming out sometime this month. And I wanted to talk about some of the new features, the ones that I think are at least impactful. Now, this update is a little more streamlined, less, less impactful than the previous update that came out in October. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that it didn't go very smoothly in October. We had... Uh, not we, but Microsoft had people losing data. They'd reboot or get done with the update and then a lot of their data would be gone. So um, I think Microsoft, again, toned it down a little bit for this update. But here I'm going to talk about a few of the things that I think are, you know, you'll actually notice. The start menu is supposed to be simplified. Now I'll tell you right now, I don't see a whole lot of change here. But in theory, the start menu is supposed to be you know, more simplified. Continuing on that theme, um, there's a lot of junk that gets pre-installed with Windows, and this is not us doing it, this is Microsoft. A lot of this stuff is, is stuff they put on here, um, and they now are allowing you to remove some of it. Um, for instance, the calculator can be uninstalled. Um, yeah, I figured the clock could not be uninstalled. And then there's, uh, I know Paint 3D can, can now be uninstalled. Where does that go? Right here. So you can choose to uninstall Paint 3D, uh, Plex, whatever the heck that is. A number of these, like sticky notes, you can uninstall. So they've added the ability to uninstall some of these pre-installed little apps that they put on. Now, uh, another change is uh, these icons, I am told. I don't even remember what the, they looked like before, but these, these icons, I think, are slightly different in the uh, shutdown menu here. Now, um, let me make sure I'm not forgetting something. Oh, yeah, so keeping on the theme of, of down here in the lower left corner, we now have Cortana. I can learn to... And the start, or excuse me, search box separated. Before, they were combined into one box, and I think most people, including me, found it rather annoying because I never used Cortana. Now, Cortana is separate, and if you want to use the search box here, you don't have to have any interruptions from Cortana. It's a totally separate thing, so that, that's definitely good. Uh, another nuisance to, to, to a lot of people is how Windows updates are handled. So um, under Windows updates, there's some additional things here that you can play around with. If you want to pause updates for seven days, you can do that. If you got if you have something really important you're working on, um, you can you can pause the updates. Active hours was a feature that was here before, um, but pausing the updates. I think technically you could before, but they had it sort of hidden. Under advanced options, you can uh, temporarily pause updates, and you can do it up to about a week. So I can say I don't want any more updates till Tuesday, April 9th, and again today is April 2nd. So that's kind of nice. And then this is not checked by default, but I recommend checking it. It's to, to, to give you a notification if... Uh, updates are requiring a reboot and the reason you might want to have that turned on is lots of times almost all the time Windows will download updates and you don't even realize it until you go to reboot your computer and then suddenly you're sitting there for an hour waiting on all these updates to install so it's not a bad idea to have advanced notice that hey the next time you reboot your computer be prepared, there's going to be some updates. And so I, I would recommend turning that particular feature on. Uh, task Manager, one minor change there, but the way you open Task Manager hasn't changed. You right click on the task bar and choose Task Manager. But um, notice here it went to the Performance tab by default. Normally it goes to the Processes tab. And that's because they're allowing you now to specify which tab you want to automatically open when you open Task Manager. So under Options, Set Tab def or Default Tab, I have it set to Performance. So every time I open Task Manager, it opens to the Performance tab, and it's just one less click for me. So that's kind of nice. Uh, that's where I spend most of my time. I'm wanting to see how many cores are being 
utilized. You can see my graphics card is 50% is utilized because it's doing a lot of the work to capture this video on the same PC that I'm using to uh, demo. Uh, let's see if I missed anything. Oh yeah, there's one more thing in uh, the control panel in settings uh, under update and security. There's a troubleshoot here. Windows has, has made this more robust. They're going to try to automatically fix problems and errors and that they're basically trying to make things easier for the novice user. Now it will prompt you and say, hey, we found this fixed. Do you want to apply it? But you can actually come in here and set and change this from saying, ask me before fixing problems to just to fix the problems without even asking me. Now, I don't recommend doing that, but it is there if you decide you want it. So, um, yeah, they're going to try to fix errors with your system. Kind of do you a favor. We'll see how that goes. Um, that should do it. Yeah, and that, by the way, that is, that's not all of the features of the April 2019 update. Those are just the ones that stood out to me that I thought you and I would notice and possibly be able to take advantage of. So hopefully you found that helpful and uh, just look out for that update because it's coming.